Today I'm going to read some excerpts out of Essay and Gospel. Peace. Renew yourselves and fast. For I tell you truly that Satan and his plagues may only be cast out by fasting and by prayer. And by Satan, he means our illusions. Our self-created illusions can only be cast out by fasting and by prayer. Go by yourself and fast alone and show your fasting to no man. Which means you should quit partying, quit meeting people, going to the movies. Go deep within, meditate, read those amazingly inspiring books. Keep feeding your mind with the things it needs in order to thrive. And stop going out with people. Be alone. Spend a lot of time in nature alone. You'll be grateful you did because when you spend a lot of time alone in nature, you don't feel lonely. So again, go by yourself and fast alone and show your fasting to no man. The living God shall see it, and great shall be your reward. For I tell you truly, except you fast, you shall never be freed from the power of Satan and from all diseases that come from Satan. There is no Satan out there. The Satan is in here. It's our illusions we believe to be true. We think that something that's not there is actually there. We imagine some kind of horror movies in front of us, and they're actually not there. And instead of being present and being there for yourself, and people around you, you're actually busy watching some kind of horror movie that you created. Well, that's what he means by Satan. Fast and pray fervently, seeking the power of the living God for your healing. While you fast, eschew the sons of men and seek our earthly mother's angels, for he that seeks shall find. Seek the fresh air of the forest and of the fields, and there in the midst of them shall you find the angel of air. Put off your shoes and your clothing, and suffer the angel of air to embrace all your body. Then breathe long and deeply, that the angel of air may be brought within you. I tell you truly, the angel of air shall cast out of your body all uncleannesses which defile it without and within. And thus shall all evil smelling and unclean things rise out of you, as the smoke of fire curls upwards and is lost in a sea of the air. For I tell you truly, holy is the angel of air who cleanses all that is unclean and makes all even smelling things of a sweet odor. No man may come before the face of God whom the angel of air lets not pass. Truly, all must be born again by air and by truth, for your body breathes the air of the earthly mother, and your spirit breathes the truth of the heavenly Father. After the angel of air, seek the angel of water. Put off your shoes and your clothing, and suffer the angel of water to embrace all your body. Cast yourselves wholly into his enfolding arms, and as often as you move the air with your breath, move with your body the water also. I tell you truly, the angel of water shall cast out of your body all uncleannesses which defile it without and within. And all unclean and evil smelling things shall flow out of you even as the uncleannesses of garments washed in water flow away and are lost in the stream of the river. I tell you truly, holy is the angel of water who cleanses all that is unclean and makes all evil smelling things of a sweet odor. No man may come before the face of God whom the angel of water lets not pass. In very truth, all must be born again of water and of truth, for your body bathes in the river of earthly life, and your spirit bathes in the river of life everlasting. For you receive your blood from our earthly mother, and the truth from our heavenly Father. Think not that it is sufficient that the angel of water embrace you outwards only. I tell you truly, the uncleanness within is greater by much than the uncleanness without. And he who cleanses himself without, but within remains unclean, is like to tombs that outwards are painted fair, but are within full of all manner of horrible uncleannesses and abominations. So I tell you truly, suffer the angel of water to baptize you also within, that you may become free from all your past sins, and that within likewise you may become as pure as the river's foam sporting in the sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Here's the information you need. Feed your mind with this. The essence gospel of freedom. You'll get inspired and you'll become one with the truth. And there is nothing more beautiful than feeling the oneness. Feeling that your will is the will of everything and everyone. And the will of the source, basically. The will of God, it says in Bible. Bible says, my will is your will. Or your will is my will, right? It's the same thing. You can't have a separate will from what's good for you. What's good for you is your will, right? You want to be happy. 
So unite with that and start being happy now. Get busy feeling happy and you'll see how you'll light up the world around you, how you'll light up from within. And it'll be so contagious, people will come to you and say, hey, what have you got? I want some of that. You can share with them freely, right? Because you don't want to keep that knowledge to yourself. It's such a beautiful thing to know that fasting can heal us, actually. The book that I love so much, Herbert Shelton, Fasting Can Heal Your Life. It's such a beautiful title. Unfortunately, I can't get it on Amazon right now. It costs like between six and eight hundred dollars, I think, but it's totally worth it. So if you have the money, go and buy it today. It's an amazing book. It totally, totally changed the course of my life years ago. This is what a war fast is all about. It's all about high energy levels, pure happiness, gratitude on the deepest possible level, and in a healing, of course. And healing means nothing else but uniting the truth or just noticing that you've always been one with the truth. Yeah, those illusions that, oh, I'm so actually something else, I'm somebody else. Hmm. No, 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 I want something different. Those illusions fall off and you notice that you've been here all the time, but you never noticed it. You were imagining something else. So this is what fasting is all about. It's so exciting. It's one of the most exciting things in life. So in case you're on a war fast right now, then check out all the books I mentioned. I put them in the link down below. And if you have any questions, post them down below. Let me know how are you doing. Let me know how long you plan to fast or how long was your longest fast? How long was your first fast? How was your experience? I'm so curious. I love hearing from people who managed to create great results in their life through doing a water fast. And if you're one of those people, leave me a comment down below. If you're not one of those people, leave a comment down below. I hope you're enjoying the fast. And if you're still planning to fast, then remember to fill your brain with all those inspiring books I mentioned in my previous videos. If you don't remember the titles, they'll be in the description below. Also remember to give me a like, subscribe to this channel, share this video with all the YouTubers of this world. And I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Mwah.